What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a pretty big Timu haul for you guys. And if we're being transparent, it's like three orders. But they have them in two packages. This is one of the packages. Um, and if you were watching my video the other day, this is actually the package that the FedEx guy dropped off. Um, it was not open like this. Um, it technically had this, like, crammed in there on top, but I kind of opened it up to see, see if I could see if anything may have fallen out. Everything seems to be pretty good packed in there, so I haven't checked it yet, so we're taking this opportunity to check. Um, but unfortunately, with these three orders, there are some parts in a separate package as well. So, um, I'm going to start with this package just because... I already have it right here. Um, I kind of know what's in this. I almost said, I almost set you down there. Um, I already know what's in this. I can look at that and see what it is. So, um, there's a lot of things in these orders that I'm excited to get to. Um, but there's like a lot of items in here. There's a lot of bigger items. There's some clothing. There's home things there's just all kind of stuff guys and i think you're really going to enjoy this haul um so i'm not going to go through that whole timu affiliate thing somebody did ask me in one of my in my last video what the difference between affiliate and a an influencer is because i think i mistakenly said influencer when i said i was a timu influencer i meant affiliate in my eyes if somebody says they're an influencer they get paid um let me back up an influencer will get sent things for free from companies um to review and therefore they get paid in that way um affiliates like team affiliates most of the time we buy our own stuff we pay our own money we buy our own stuff and we're just given special codes to give out for you guys um so, I'm I'm an affiliate for Timu, but so many people out there are Timu affiliates that the market is just becoming oversaturated right now. And I can honestly say that I I'm not going to push anybody to become a Timu affiliate because I barely get any money from being a Timu affiliate. Everything that you see in my hauls is paid for by me. So just know that that's the difference. So. Side note, is this a little less distracting for you guys? It doesn't, it's not like super obvious. So I think, I'm hoping this will be okay. Um, still can't do anything about this right here. <laughs> At least not yet. Um, we'll get there. But I have, I have had several people comment about how distracting that sh this shelf is behind me. So at least for Timu videos, um, we're going to put this up. So let me know if you like it or not. So, um, I will put all the information down below as far as affiliate links, discount codes, um, uh, fish land and farmland codes. Those will be down there as well, as well as links to all of these orders and each individual item that I show in the order that I show it. So I know some people don't do that. Some people, I, I watched somebody the other day, she said she was just going to put the links to the complete orders that doesn't always work because sometimes the links to the orders don't post correctly or they don't copy correctly and you're just copy and pasting the link to the general website so that's why i still post links to each individual item and y'all i'm about to put in some work for y'all there's a lot of items in these in these packages so let me go ahead and jump into it. I'm not trying to talk for forever. Um, so, because this one is right here. Because I've literally had my hand on it the entire time. This is a, kind of like a pet tent. I guess you could call it. it looks like there's still something in there. Maybe not. Oh, it just feels heavy. I don't know. Maybe it's just the back. This is kind of like a pet tent. Um, 
I literally just had my scissors. What did I do with them? There they are. Um, my cat does go outside a lot. Um, and while he has plenty of places on a property that he can go to get away out of the rain, um, or to kind of get a break from if, it, if it's too cold outside, um, I just, I wanted to get this for him. Um, just as a little pet, um, pet house for him. So, it's pretty... I would say pretty straightforward. Um, you've got the main um, main part right here. And this is supposed to be round, but it's just the way it was folded up. And then it has a little floor that goes in here. I think that's the floor. <laughs> there we go very tight fitting because this does not I hope I'm doing this right anyway so I think this is actually like hexagon shape maybe I don't know I can't tell what are you Maybe, maybe this is round. I don't know. But anyway, you have a floor. And then it has a cute little top to it. <laughs> Which does... It does have a zipper. Um, zippers on. Um, but I'm not going to go through that all that right now. So It's a cute little house that I'm going to put out um, in the yard by the house. For Dean in case it rains um, like overnight so super cute um, that was one of the things that I've been kind of excited to get um, am I gonna be able to use my tablet probably not I'm not worrying about it I was gonna try to get my tablet and keep up with the prices for y'all but my tablet is probably dead no well, lo and behold it's not dead I do like being able to have my tablet on hand to keep up with these orders because it, especially like there's um, times where there's things about an item where I wish I had known when I was hauling it. So seeing as there's three orders in here, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go into too much detail. I'm not gonna be trying to look up every single order, um, every single item and every single order, but if there's an item, that maybe I'm unsure about, like any kind of specific details, then I will probably try to look it up. So, um, let me open up this a little bit more here so I can get further into this. Like they taped, I, 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 I have no idea what they were doing, guys. I'm gonna try to show y'all this. They taped this part to an item like I have no idea what they were doing unless they Frankenstein it to no I have no idea what they were doing I literally have no idea what they were doing um but we'll continue as much as best as possible um So for all of y'all who were wondering about the package that the FedEx person dropped off, um, I feel like I need to update y'all a little bit because not everybody watched the video that I posted where I was chasing down a package that said it had been delivered. The package that the, that the UPS man delivered, that was not the package that said it had been delivered yet. The package that said it had been delivered was was through on track that package finally after contacting on track and talking to them about why my package was not here with me um 
they somehow tracked it down, but it was finally delivered six and a half hours after I said it had been delivered. So it finally arrived to my door, not even to my door, y'all. It finally arrived out at a address post. I apologize. That's what happens when I turn my... Can I turn you volume, volume down? Because you're getting on my nerves. But anyway. Um, the package that on track... The package that I was getting notifications about. That one got delivered. That evening. Like six and a half hours later. And the guy didn't even... Bring it to our doorstep. He set it up against a post out in front of the house um and it was completely ripped open miraculously everything was in there so <laughs> but this is this package right here this is the one that FedEx dropped off just to let y'all know so we're kind of seeing in the moment we're gonna find out um if everything has been delivered Ugh. Really, this is some strong tape. Did uh, everybody watch the Super Bowl? Me, I didn't care. I'm, I'm not really a Super Bowl kind of person. Um, I might keep up with who's in the Super Bowl. And I might look up um, like the commercials and stuff like that afterward, like I did. But, so this is a nightgown. Oh, this thing feels so warm. I really thought this was going to be super, like, thin. But this is, like, actual, like, sweater material. So this is going to be nice to wear. But this is a nightgown that I got. And I did get it in a 5X. I'm hoping it fits. But I was thinking one day when I was wearing my nightgown, like I really wish, I would be fine with having the nightgown on. This is super long. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try it on, but you're not gonna see it. I'll try it on and let you know on screen if it fits, but super pretty. Like y'all, this thing is super soft and it's like so warm, like sweater material. This is gonna be so comfortable. I I'm excited to try this on, but yeah. Pick that up. Okay. Are you done going off at the mouth? Um, do, 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 do. <sighs> this app is different now. Where is my account? Okay. I was on some kind of Valentine's Day special offer page. Okay. Y'all, this is... Oh my gosh, this is so warm. I think I got a 5X. Maybe I should double check. Are you gonna tell? Okay. Uh, if it's not on the back of the neck, it's usually on the, on the side seam. 95% uh, polyester, 5% elastane, and yes, I did get a 5X because I like my sleepwear big. And 5X is usually the biggest they go in it, so I'm excited to try this, y'all. I'm hoping it's not too tight. I'm kind of comparing it up to myself. It looks like it might be snug, but we're going to find out. I'm a little wide, in case anybody can't tell. So. Alright, so I said I wasn't going to try this on for y'all. But, trying it on, yes, it's comfortable. It's not thick, but it feels like it's, it would be warm. I just wish it was a little wider. Just ignore this, all this <laughs> I just got done with the Timu haul, and yeah. Um, and obviously we have a toddler, so toys tend to be out on the floor. I wish this was a little bit wider. Um, I like the length. The length is fine. Um, I'm 5'1". Five 5'1", one. Five one, if anybody um, remembers. But I'm not I'm not that tall. I'm like, I'm at like 260, 280. I can't remember my, my weight. I'm sorry. But... Yeah. Uh, for this being a 5X, this is not that big. So, if you're 
a plus size person, but it's more like proportionate. Um, maybe this will work for you, but if you're a plus size person who's short and apple shaped, <laughs> um, this is going to be a little bit snug, but yes, it is warm. It's, yeah, it's not thick, um, but it feels like it's going to be warm on me. Um, if I ever need a, um, a, a long sleeve nightgown, but will I wear this that often? Probably not. Um, I doubt I'll send it back, but yeah, like I said, I just, I wish it was a little bit wider. Um, cause this, the whole form fitting thing just is not comfortable for me. So, but yeah, just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a, is that, thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update on how this thing actually fits and let you know that even a 5x is not that big so but yeah here you go um as far as my rating warm and comfortable yes warm fitting not a fan of so I'm giving it six or seven out of 10 or maybe three out of five so but yeah there you go so got that um i'm gonna be pulling out a few clothing items here at the beginning let's go to my orders um i I'm, I'm just going to try y'all. I'm not going to spend too much time looking for this stuff. That was that order. Okay. So this. Um, let's see. Plus size elegant loungewear dress. Um, I only paid $4.41 for that, guys. So if it fits, if it's as comfortable as it feels like it's going to be, it's going to be an amazing deal, y'all. So give y'all an idea. This is what it looks like on the model. And that's the color that I got, um, which is a pale pinkish gray. But it does come in other colors too. So, But it is currently, at the time I am recording this, it is currently $5.18, which is still a pretty darn good deal. So... Next up, we have something that's striped. <laughs> and I think this is some underwear. That's what it looks like. So these, this must be the same order. So this is five pieces of just some plus size underwear. And I love, I love me some Timu underwear. So there's like a kind of a salmon pink. You got a burgundy. Bright red. Good dark purple can't see it but it's a dark purple and then black so five more pairs of underwear and in a future timu haul i have some organization um drawer 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 dividing compartment things where i'm going to start trying to organize my underwear because my underwear drawer is getting a little overstuffed from all the underwear that I've ordered from Timu. So, what we got next? And that was $8.92 for the five pack. So, what we got here? Um, I think this is a t-shirt. I think this is... Wrong one. Back up. So now we're in this order right here. It's green, and I can tell what it is. I ordered another um, t-shirt for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> okay. And I ordered this in a 5X because I'm done trying to deal with 4Xs from Timu. This shirt, however, I mean, it's... It's comfortable, but it, it does feel a little bit polyester-ish. Um, it's not st super stiff. It's thick, um, which I guess is good. But cute little St. Patrick's Day shirt with the hearts. 
And this is a shirt like I could wear to work. Um, it doesn't have any kind of logos on it or writing or anything. Um, not that I couldn't wear a shirt that has like love or believe or anything like that on it. Um, but I just, me personally, I try not to wear shirts that have um, too much going on. It's more simple and stuff like that. You know what I mean. So, but super cute. I love the, and this is, this is very vinyl. Can you hear it? This is very vinyl. <laughs> so, but yeah, super cute. So that is a 5X. It looks short. It looks wide, which is good, but it looks short. I don't know if you can tell. Like that's the neck. It, look, it looks like, a, like it's like wide, but short. You know what I mean? So we're going to find out. So that was $9.97. Okay, so St. Patrick's Day shirt. Um, it is a little bit, it is, it is a little tad wide, which is fine for me because I am wider in the middle. I kind of like this bit. Sorry, low battery. Um, the sleeves are a little snug. I wish I could do that. I'm gonna have to keep doing that. Um, sleeves are a little snug considering how wide the rest of the shirt is. Um, but it's not too bad. Um, definitely something I could wear to work. Um, if I work on... St. Patrick's Day, or like the day before, maybe. Um, but yeah, maybe this and a little cardigan or something. So, but yeah, um, it is thick. It's it's soft. Um, it's soft, but it's like shiny and thick, but it's not stiff. Um, I wish, really wish I could show y'all. Um, but yeah, I did, like I said, it is wide, and I did get a 5X. So, again, if you like a loose, loose fit, I would go at least two sizes up um, because their shirts seem to be make, getting made smaller um, than they used to be. So yeah. So yeah, um, my rating for this one, given the sleeves that are tight, but I do like the rest of the way that fits um, in plastic vinyl. We'll do the four out of five for this one. Like I said, just because the arms are tight. It's technically not their fault. I just have big arms. Um, but, um, yeah. Considering how wide the rest of the shirt is, you would think that the sleeves would be a little bit, just a little tiny bit wider. Um, so, yeah. Not too bad. Definitely a good, something I could wear once a year. So, um, I should probably keep that with the package just in case okay more clothing <laughs> they literally like crammed all of the soft clothing around the outside of this bag which is fine I guess so next up I need to go back to the other let me see if I can find this other shirt first. Um, this might be it. So we're gonna we're gonna hold off on that one, and then I'm gonna show you this one because this is the third time I've ordered this shirt. Um, because I really like it, and I really want this to work out. So you're gonna recognize this. A dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair. So this is a five X. So we're going all the way to the top because I really want this chart to work out because those four X's just did not work. So hopefully this one will. So nice little Eagles, Eagles shirt. And they do have a couple other shirts and tote bags and stuff like that you can find of Hotel California. But I just really liked this one and I liked it in the blue. And there are several colors that you can buy into this in, but um, and this one was eight dollars and ninety nine cents. That's what I paid for it. Um, it's currently nine dollars and ninety eight cents. So um, you can also get it in dark gray, light gray, like a dark pink and a light pink. So 
But yeah, I'm gonna try the 5X. Now, if this doesn't work, this doesn't work, I don't know what will. I'm just gonna have to give up on it. And it's super soft, guys. It feels super soft. It feels really nice. It's just that 4X was just a little too tight. next i'm gonna go back and go back to this other order so this next thing this is actually a pajama set um this is a, a, a t-shirt and pants set um feels shiny <laughs> feels kind of slick i mean it's soft and it feels like it'd be comfortable but it's shiny um, and I did get the 5X in this as well. The pants might be a little big or not. We're going to find out. Because again, I like my, um, my sleepwear to be big. So this, I'm going to show you the picture. I think this is the one I ordered. Or maybe it's this. I think this is the color that I ordered here. So this is what I ordered. Um, I paid $12.74 for it. It is still $12.74. So, just a pair of comfortable long pants. Last time I ordered a pajama set from Timu, I was a little surprised um, that it ended up being a capri pant, and I'm not a fan of capris. Um, and then the matching shirt. So, it doesn't look like it's going to be, like, very long, but at least if it's long enough to, you know, come down a little bit past my stomach, then that's fine. So, so I, I have hope in this. So, um, maybe I can try this one on for you guys. So, yeah. Okay, so, the other pajamas that I bought, um, I was right, they are considerably too long but it's nothing new for me to cut pants off. Normally, I buy some Hanes men's pajamas from Amazon, and then I usually end up cutting about that much off because they're so long. <laughs> um, these don't have pockets. A little sad about that. Um, trust me, pockets in pajama pants come in handy. So, the shirt, it is comfortable. Again, I wish it was a little bit wider a little bit looser but overall it's not a, not a bad little lounge lounge around the house set um definitely something you could sleep in so um my rating for this one um pants are too long it's not their fault i'm just short um i would give this a four out of five um just because, like I said, I wish it was a little bit wider. The shirt was a little bit wider and not so narrow. But it is it is plenty long, which is good. So I like the length of it. The length of it is great. But yeah. Pants, I think, might be a little too long. But we're going to find out. Yeah. I can look at them and see that they're probably going to be a little bit too long. Story of my life. <laughs> So, I'm going to put them back in the bag for now. If you see me keep glancing over this way, that would be the baby monitor. And I am trying to keep an eye on my daughter, who is supposed to be down for a nap. And who is, as usual, taking her sweet time going to sleep. Okay. I feel like that's most all the clothing that I can get to right now, at least. Um, so next, I got a nice spring wreath. Let me take it out of the plastic and I'll show you. So here we go. Here's a nice, nice little spring wreath. Let me try to flip it out a little bit. So I thought this would be really nice to put out like in now. <laughs> Or maybe in March, God, my hair is like in my face and it's really annoying me. 
But this, um, of course you would be in another order. The majority of this is mostly a couple different, like two different orders, but there are some parts in another order. So it says Valentine's Day spring simulated simulation flower. Um, but I wouldn't really necessarily call this like specifically for Valentine's Day. This would just be good for a nice spring wreath. Um, and this is supposed to be 15.75 inches, which is, I mean, it's a, it's a still a good size if you have a small door. Sorry, you're right here at my feet. I apologize. Um, good size if you have a small door. So that is going to be going on our door after I get done with this. So, and I paid, what did I pay? I paid $9.44. It is currently $11.46. Take out a box, shall we? I have no idea what's in this box. Okay, I see what's in it. Um, and I think, of course, it's back in the other order. So this is a box of dinosaurs. <laughs> Um, like we don't need more dinosaurs in this house. Um, this is actually a box of dinosaur toys and it comes with a little play mat that you can put down, but I don't think we'll be putting the play mat down. So this is a box and here's your play mat. It's kind of a thick felt. Um, really kind of a heavy duty felt and it's a literal box of dinosaurs um, and then you got some trees in here too for play all the good good ones are represented um, you got dinosaur eggs you got a rock <laughs> um, cute little baby dinosaurs so yeah it's a, a literal box of dinosaurs so she is gonna love this um it is currently $21.24 and you get it doesn't say how many dinosaurs you get in it I don't think um it's basically it's sort of size three and up um, it just says you get big dinosaurs, small dinosaurs, a tree, stone, egg, and a dinosaur mat. So it doesn't tell you exactly how many dinosaurs you get. Um, and I'm not about to count. But yeah, it's $21.24. Like I said, you do get the play mat as well. Um, I don't know if this will be, I doubt this will be used. But I'm going to put this back in there for now. And nice little carrying case so that in case we go somewhere and she wants to take some of her dinosaurs even the other ones that she already has nice little cute little carrying case that she can take them in um i paid 21 dollars and 12 cents for it <laughs> so yeah she's gonna love that guys and this i have a sinking feeling i know what this is not that it's a bad thing y'all uh, and there's other stuff around it before I bring, before I pull out the big thing. There's a huge box. <laughs> I've got to pull out some things around it. Something fell. You know what? I could just cut the bag. That would be the smart thing to do. It's a shame, too, because that could have been a good bag. And what felt? Okay, you felt. Okay, so there's another box. Scissors. And 
this, if I'm thinking about this correctly, this is a bath shower seat. Um, so we're going to find out. Yes. So this is what I thought it was. This is a shower seat. Um, I'm not going to take this completely out of the box. Um, but this is exactly what you would think it is if I said the word shower seat. Um, this was the other piece of that order that the pet igloo thing was in. That was literally only two items. So let me show you what that looks like. Technically it's currently sold out, but you can find a ton of other shower seats out there. But this, that's what I ordered. Um, so that's what's in the box. Being on my feet is not a pleasant experience, especially like when I'm trying to take a shower. So I take more baths just because I don't feel like standing up in the shower. So I ordered a shower seat um, to see if that will motivate me to take showers more often instead of um, baths. So, but yeah, you can find all kinds of other shower seats. Um, if this one becomes um, comes in stock again before I post the video, then I will put I'll put the link in. So and that one, um, you're not gonna tell me how much that it was. Where are you? Um, I paid thirty seven dollars and twenty seven cents for that, um, and currently it's out of stock right now. So um, and. You all already you are have already seen it, but the pet little pet igloo thing that was I paid seventeen dollars and seven cents for that. Um, currently, as of the time that I am recording this, um, I actually got. Let me go back. Um, I got the medium size. Um, there is a small size and a large size, obviously. Um, <laughs> um, medium size, medium size is currently $15.74, so, but... But this is, this shows they have, they have like a couple of different patterns you can get it in. That's the one I got. But you can also get it in camo. No, just like a brown or you can get it in like a, a type of camo. So, but yeah, um, it's supposed to be waterproof. Um, yeah, that's, that's what that is. So. Um, but moving on, um, I only have a few more pieces here in this, out of this bag. Um, there's a diamond painting, so we're going to get to that. Let me back up and find the order. Didn't y'all hear me say out of my own mouth that I was not going to worry about finding every item in these orders? And what am I doing? Hmm? What am I doing? I'm looking for every single item. I think this is a diamond painting. No, it says four pieces. Oh, you know what? This is not... This is not a diamond painting in the traditional sense. But, these are diamond painted items. So these are, let me open it first, Talia, and make sure. Okay, so these are diamond painting stickers that you put on um, glasses, like drinking glasses. Or you could put it on a tumbler, I guess. Um, but you have living in Lake Time, you have Mama, um, and then you have the one with the 
Dreamer with the uh, Dreamcatcher, and then another one with Mama on it. I liked these two with Mama on it, and the Dreamcatcher one is pretty good. I might do this one, um, or maybe I will cut this one off and send it to my friend Cheryl, because she does the camping and the lake stuff. I don't. <laughs> so, but you diamond paint all these, or each one, and it's, they're, they're separate stickers. Um, and then you can stick them onto a drinking glass or a tumbler or whatever. And then it does come with a diamond, so that's your little bit pack of diamonds there. Or, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. I was, I, I was thinking about saying what else I could do with that one lake one. But... I think Cheryl watches my channel, so I'm not going to give away anything. And then you got like a little small toolkit. So, super cool, super excited about that. And you can find a whole bunch of different ones um, like these with different motifs on them. Um, I paid $4.04 for that sheet of four um, things, and it's currently $4.48. So, Kind of give you some idea about what they look like. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah. Just to give you an idea. And then spoiler alert. I did order a, another drinking glass tumbler. <laughs> um, even though I already have one. I ordered another one. That was like colorful. So this is another thing I'm excited about. Um, my normal uh, people know that I am a fan, like a pretty big fan of the show Supernatural. And I suppose it's not um, anything uh, out of the ordinary for me to order something Supernatural. But I ordered this Supernatural uh, wallet. And it's not its not a very big wallet. I mean, you've got... Yeah. <laughs> it's like a little foam thing. Just not not a, a big wallet. Got that. And then you've got a little zippered... Zippered compartment there for your change or whatever. So not a, not a big wallet. Just a little small one. But I at least bought it just to say I had it. Um, and let's see if I can open it up all the way. So that's what it looks like all the way. There's like, join the hunt. Um, saving people, hunting things, the family business, the Impala. So yeah, had to get that. I saw that and I'm like, there's no second thought. I have to get that. So that one... Um, I paid $6.39, and it's still $6.39. So, I'm going to wait. Did I order this thing twice? I think I did. Y'all. <laughs> I think I ordered two of this one, too. So, I ordered two of this. I must have had my thing stuck on... Um, I must have had my quantity counter thing stuck on two because apparently I would already order two of this and two of the next thing. So this is actually a little, uh, what you would call like the little cutter thing and perfect for cutting diamond painting plastic and diamond painting coverings. So. And, I guess this is just a piece of paper you can get to see if it works. <laughs> and it does come with a cap of sorts. It doesn't go all the way down, but it does, um, this right here will keep it from, um, from going all the way down. Supposed to, anyway. So, and I actually got two of these inadvertently. So, 
these are, oh, they're seam rippers. I thought these were exacto knives. They're seam rippers. And this is about to come in handy because I got to do some, some, some un, um, unstitching of some cross stitch. So I ordered two of these. So I guess it's a good thing that I got two of them. Um, and they're a dollar and 78 cents each currently. And then I got, I got them for a dollar 48 cents each. So, so the next thing <laughs> I also got two of apparently, um, which is when in the other order, Um, and see, sometimes I don't know if I ordered, I purposely ordered two of something or if Timu had it where you could only order two of something because I've seen them do that. Um, I don't know if they're still doing it, but they were doing it for a short while. Um, so where you would try, you, you would be like a pair of earrings or, um, maybe a lipstick or something like that. And it would tell you that there was a minimum order of two for that item. Um, so I don't know if this was a case of this, these particular items, it was like that, but it's no longer like that. But anyway, apparently I ordered two of the same um, garden flag. And I'm only gonna open one. <laughs> um, these are currently $2.15. I paid $1.60 for each one. Oh my gosh, so super, super stinking cute. Happy Easter. And y'all, remember, this year, Easter is in March. Easter is in the last, like, weekend of March. So don't forget, right after St. Patrick's Day, get ready for Easter. So, super cute. Um, and I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's only the one. Okay. I, I was just making sure it wasn't like a two pack of two different ones. <laughs> um, but yeah, super cute. And this is that silky material. I like to be sure to tell y'all that because garden flaggers can come in two different kind of materials. You either got like the silky material or you've got the thick canvas burlap type material. So that was all of that big bag. So now I have a small bag. Oops. <laughs> Can't get my fingers in my in my thing. Let's see, where would be the best place to cut this? I'm gonna cut it on this long, on this side right here because there seems to be a big box and a smaller box. So we're gonna cut on the top where the bigger box is. So it'll be easier to get out. If I can get it open, let's try it differently. I'm, I always try to be careful when I'm cutting into these because you never know how they have these things, this stuff crammed in there. Okay. And I don't want to cut anything that I ordered. Okay. So I have a feeling I know what this is. And this is, I will say this is what I ordered to put the, um, the diamond painting decals on. But I can't remember if this is specifically the one that I ordered. But I just thought it was pretty. It's pretty. And this is a, as you can see the shimmer. It's so pretty. And that is glass. And you have a wooden cap here. And did it come with a straw? Did it not come with a straw? Well, that's, that's, that's disappointing, but I have I have a ton of straws that I can put in here anyway, but it has a straw hole with a silicone so that it doesn't leak. Um, leak proof straw hole. So, but yeah, really nice. That's about, mm, I would say maybe 10 ounce. 
Let me see if it tells. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Wrong order. And this is why I say that some of there are some items that I really wish I had access to the information. So yes, 16 ounces actually. So that's what it looks like on the inside. That's my fingers you're seeing. <laughs> so it's nothing on the inside there, but but really pretty. Um, I'm trying to see. It looks like the paint or whatever they use is on the outside. You can see. So it's on the outside. It's not on the inside. So yeah. Pick that up. Um, currently six dollars and ninety nine cents. Um, I paid six dollars and ninety eight cents for it. So. <laughs> So yeah, put that right there. Actually, I'm gonna put that back in the box. Oh, guess what? There is a straw, <laughs> short little straw right here. That's a short straw. It's a very short straw. In fact, I have never seen a plastic straw this short. But I guess you don't need it to be too long. And it does have the stopper on the end. So. So yeah. It's not very long. That's directly up and down. So I mean I guess. I guess you can use it. But I would like at least a little bit of a longer. Longer straw on that. Maybe. We'll see. Like I said it's pretty short. So yeah. They had it tucked down in the side over here. Come here. Okay. Next up. Um, we'll go, we'll go ahead and go in for the other box. And this, this I think is a reorder, even though it's coming in a Valentine's Day box. This is a reorder of another Supernatural thing. Um, because I put my other one in the dishwasher and the, um, The decal started coming off so note to self don't put these in the dishwasher so i ordered another one of these again supernatural related carry on my wayward son and it is on both sides so yeah um and this i actually i paid eight dollars and eight cents it is currently six dollars and 64 cents and it was gone from timu for a little while but I, um, I stay consistent and I kept looking for it and it finally came back. And so I ordered another one. So yeah, pick that one up. Just remember not to put that in the dishwasher. I have so much trash over here, y'all. <laughs> so next, um, we're almost done. A couple more items. Right? Yeah. So next up, we have a couple of little kitchen tools. And so far, I'm checking to see if everything's come. And, yep, I've shown all of that. And so let me go back to the other order and make sure I've shown all that. And I think we are good. So shown that, shown that. About to show those two things. So yeah, both of these items, these next two items were in the same order. So this is a silicone spatula. And I paid three dollars and ninety nine cents for it. Eh. 
plastic is the enemy of silicone. Um, I paid three dollars and ninety-nine cents for it. It is currently two dollars and ninety-nine cents. So, just a really good silicone spatula to help not scratch up my pants, <laughs> my pants. <laughs> so, I just really wanted another spatula that is sturdy. Cause there's nothing wrong with a spatula that like, if you try to put something heavy on it it just goes Brrr. so <laughs> so this is really really sturdy guys really sturdy um silicone and you do they have it in like five other colors that you can get you can get it in pink purple orange or yellow which is more of a light orange so so yeah pick that one up And then lastly, these are plastic, um, and they look like they come with a little bit, like, bent out of shape, so they're not straight again. Maybe, uh, we'll see. These are going to have to take some more bending back into place, but these are some food spatulas. And this piece right here is even plastic, y'all. Lord have mercy. Um, so yeah, these would be good for like I'm I'm gonna be making um, salmon patties later this week. Either salmon patties or burgers in a pan, something along those lines, where you can scoop it up in the spatula, clip, and then flip it. So, um, so yeah, I thought I would get some of these to hopefully be able to use something a little bit better. Because last time I got some, um, like a spatula thing, it was like, it was stainless steel. And stainless steel on something that is greasy does not really work. So hopefully these will work a little bit better. And these have just become a little bit, I don't know if you can see it, but they, they become a little bit bent out of shape. Um, I think it'll be okay, though. Um, they're not completely straight, but, I mean, it's, it's alright. It's not, not terrible. Um, not enough to really make a difference, but, yeah, this part right here is plastic. You know, you push it in to open it, pull it out to close it. So, but, I think that's gonna do it, guys. That seems to be everything that was supposed to be in these three orders. So, yeah, so that was nine items for for the first order, um, eight items for the second order, and then the two items on the third one. So that is what my math ain't mathing right now. 19 items, right? Yeah, 19 items. So not too bad. So that is going to be it for, that I have for you guys right now. Uh, again, everything, all the info, affiliate links, Discount codes, those will be down below in the description box as well as my Fishland and Farmland codes. All you got to do with those is just type them into the uh, main search bar on the main page and it takes you directly to the game and adds me as a friend so you can get your daily reward. I think it might only be limited to the U.S. since I am based in the U.S. Um, as far as uh, the affiliate links and discount codes, you can get 30% off by using either one of those options on your first order only. You have to be a new customer. Um, but if you go through the affiliate link, you will also get a $100 coupon bundle upon placing your first order. So if you still haven't ordered from Timu, um, now's a good time to get in on that. So I will, see, I'm gonna clean everything up guys and I will see you guys again real soon. I just had another order come in today and I still got like three maybe four orders in the bedroom. Um, it depends on how much I want to do at one time. So that's it for me today, guys. I will see you guys again in the near future. Again, look down in the description box for all the information for anything that you saw here. And I will be back as soon as possible. And until then, be good. Bye for now. Bye.